Hello everybody, we are looking at this question from the UK Senior Maths Challenge 2005, as you might guess from the question, with a lot of 2005s in it. So the reason I think this problem is interesting is it's probably the hardest one on the paper, uh, and also it shows you the importance of memorizing quite a few key and frequently used techniques in these Maths Challenges, not just the UK Senior Maths Challenge, but all of them all over the world. So let's have a look at this. So. Um, I had a look at all the options, and one really stood out, which was the first one. Why? It's 1,003 and 1,002. Will they add to make 2,005? So that was a bit of a, uh, that's a bit of a giveaway. But then, if you look at the difference, the difference is 1. Now, this is quite interesting because the 2,005 turns up here, and then we have 1. And one is also the same as one squared. And then I th started thinking, okay, this is probably the one, but let's show why it's definitely the solution. So the first thing I'm gonna do to make the writing easier, and I recommend you do this in the uh, math challenges as well, if you want to save time, is you actually do a substitution, just algebraically, I'm gonna say 1,003 is A and 1,002 is B, and then I can rewrite this whole thing me one over the square root of it's gonna be a plus b plus a plus b squared minus a minus b squared now once you make this step the whole problem really starts to um, unravel and become easier but it's all about spotting this first step anyway let's show what this is so if you want to know this is another algebraic identity much like the difference of two squares or something like that. It's just one of these things that you should know. Okay. Um, now, when you expand this out, you'll get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus a squared plus 2ab and then minus b squared. Can you see what's going to happen? This is going to cancel with this. This is going to cancel with this. Those two are going to sum because they have opposite signs and you're going to end up with 4ab. So that means that we can put this whole thing on a slightly easier footing. And it's gonna be A, I'm gonna put the B here, you'll see why, plus the square root of 4AB. Now the square root of 4AB is just the same as taking that two out. So let's take the two out of the root. Now, this is quite an interesting little result because you're probably very very familiar with expanding out a binomial but this result is actually comes from expanding out a square root so this is another identity you should just learn do it yourself pause the video if you need to okay. so now we can rewrite this whole thing as the one over the square root of something squared, that's gonna cancel out, square root of A over B, and then we're gonna end up with the square root, one over the square root of A plus the square root of B. Now this is the time to rationalize the denominator. When you first look at this problem, you might be tempted to try and rationalize the denominator twice. This is a lot of work, involves a tremendous amount of, um, of multiplication, and it's very easy to make a mistake. So don't fall down the rabbit hole of necessarily going for this kind of brute force attack. Uh, you want to try and find the subtle subtlety, the trick. Now, when we rationalize this denominator, you get something really, really cool. Um, on the bottom, can you see we're just going to end up with A minus B. Well, what are A and B? It's 1,003 and 1,002. So A minus B is just going to be 1 and then we're gonna have root A minus root B all over one. And so A and B are uh, 1,003 and 1,002. So it's gonna be those, so it is A. So that's how you do it, but how do you spot these things in the first place? Well, you just have to rely on the fact that your mathematical intuition has been, uh, has been trained. Uh, well enough and these things will s sort of pop out but one of the ways that you can train yourself is you can work on memorizing certain results 
I would definitely recommend memorizing the binomial and trinomial, um, sorry, and like the, uh, the square uh, expansion and the cubic expansion. Um, but what about some other ones? This one you should know off by heart. I would recommend learning all of these. And doing them algebraically, but also doing them with actual numbers. Yeah, so you recognize them. And then likewise, you should be memorizing how to rationalize uh, expressions like this as well. Um, so plus or minus, then maybe something like this, something like this. And then finally, uh, things where they're both radicals. So memorize how to rationalize things like this. Um, learn how to expand these uh, um, expand these out. Commit them to memory, and hopefully this will help the answer pop out when you're doing these math challenges. Good luck and thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please hit the like button. Let me know why in the comments below, and of course subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.